So that's it. We have a new president. <laughs> it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a different day uh, tomorrow. Aye, aye, aye. Um, well, we keep the pressure on. That's uh, that's what we do. You know. Exactly, and I think this is really important for folks who 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 pay attention to politics. Um, there is, I mean, I think the entire country has taken is uh, I shouldn't say the entire country. There's a lot of people who uh, thought that uh, Q was real and that Donald Trump was going to roll up everybody on that stage, but didn't happen. For a significant portion of the country, a lot of people are taking a deep breath. Well deserved. Uh, you should, but we need to keep the pressure on because. Um, if Donald Trump can follow Barack Obama, who knows can follow Joe Biden unless Joe Biden uh, makes it really clear what the Democratic Party uh, can do uh, for you as opposed to the Republicans. We'll talk more about that tomorrow. Uh, see you then. And for those of you sticking around in the fun half today, we're going to take a lot of phone calls, going to allow people to um, express their uh, joy and saying goodbye to Donald Trump express their hopes uh, well, with Joe what's Biden. What's your feeling right now? Like, what, I, if you could encapsulate how you feel currently, because I'm getting texts from my family about how they're crying with joy. Um, I don't feel that. <laughs> I mean, look, I, 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 I was saying this before, and I've said this a million times before on this program. I, I remember where I was when Bill Clinton was elected. It wasn't the inauguration, but it was when, the night of the election. And... Um, the, just the, the, the relief that the Reagan era had ended um, was, was massive. And then people went to sleep. Um, when Barack Obama was elected, the sense of elation and hope and expectation was overwhelming, even though I was aware at that time about they had shut down outside organizations and they were picking Rahm Emanuel. I mean, I remember, I remember the, um, and I think during that brief period, I'm not quite sure. Uh, no, no. I think we were doing a uh, uh, break room live, Marin and I, I think by then, but uh, just, just then. And I think the, I remember thinking when they when when they appointed uh, when it was clear that Rahm Emanuel was going to be the the chief of staff. I remember trying to like having to really uh, try and convince myself like, oh well, okay, he's the type of guy you want uh, you want on your side, uh, you know. Yeah, like he's fighting. he's a bulldog, but you know he'll he'll fight for the right position. I, I mean that those first two years were just convincing oneself that the rhetoric was going to match the campaign. <laughs> I will say that um, it was the summer of 2009. I remember it quite clearly. Um, I was guesting on the Campbell Brown show on okay. CNN. I don't even, I don't, I, 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 I don't know why I remember who she was. Um, and I remember it, the, the, I was saying that progressives were upset and this is a real problem with the cram down and the bankruptcy bill. And I remember her playing like a Bill Maher uh, clip saying, you, you, you're an idiot or something to, you know, to people who uh, were criticizing Obama at that time. And that's when it, it took eight or nine months. Um, and I've been saying, I think since the beginning of this campaign, Joe Biden's not going to get that type of honeymoon now. No, he also. Well, well he doesn't have that charisma to ride uh, to, to ride off of. And it's a different time. It's just a different time it's a different time and there's a different it's also you know barack obama represented a um at least symbolically a a massive shift in um what this country would allow on some level oh and i remember i mean that like i, I just i re i was young but i remember that feeling when you know he was inaugurated it's very different than what i and feel it was right very now. exciting it was yes. very exciting. Yes. Um, and, you know, I was in the dorm and we were uh, making fun of the guy who voted for McCain and Palin. Um, and uh, it was a pretty yeah. nice feeling. Lots of dunking on Sarah Palin, lots of, you know, superiority yep. of being on the left, being on the smart side. I feel like that was so much of that era of liberalism, like those calendars that had Bushisms on it. I mean, that was what 
was there was a lot of that. Um, not you I'm know. all in favor of that type of mockery. I have to say I'm all in favor of that type of mockery and uh, um, and uh, and smugness. However, <laughs> it has to come. I mean, I think people know that. About yeah, but the, the Trump era, like mockery, there's something that's off about it. It's it's it didn't hit in the way that the bush mockery did well because it was just like i mean you know what like did you really need to add anything to it right i mean like i mean the guy was that's the uh, point yeah right. yeah and but the, the i think i think look i think the country or elements of the country have moved significantly to the left um i think we see it reflected in a, elected democrats in the sense that like you know Wally was right. Like Donna Edwards was the last was the last sort of like uh, incumbent challenge that I remember. And, you know, she's progressive, but she wasn't, you know, she wasn't AOC. And, and she was alone. I mean, there was no movement behind it. It was just like a one off. Like we, we, we you know, the uh, Joe Lieberman was challenged and, and was knocked off, at least in the primary by Ned Lamont. And Ned Lamont is just a sort of, you know, um, a. Uh, typical, you know, a Democrat. And well, Lieberman was just that bad. I mean, like, that's how much it shifted. Um, yeah, exactly. I mean, yes. And Lieberman, you know, uh, I, Lieberman was unique in Safari. He was a blue state Democrat who was, you know, uh, he makes uh, Mansion uh, look like, you know, Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, I, I'm That's not too far, but <laughs> I don't know. Exactly. I mean, it was a different game. Manchin has been, you know, relatively like Manchin projects who he is. Joe Lieberman, the whole thing with Joe Lieberman was he's with us, with with us on everything but the war. But it turned out he was with us on nothing, yeah. uh, including the war. Um, but I just think that. There's two different there's two dynamics going on. One is there's this massive pandemic and. I think that is going to influence Joe Biden to go big because he knows he has to go big. And he has the rhetorical cover uh, of the pandemic, which I think most people want to see resolved and to put other things in it, you know, to mix other things into that bill as an addressing of uh, of our society, because you know, the, the issue of the pandemic is not just how do we stop uh, uh, this pandemic? It is laid bare weaknesses that we have within our society. And it is these type of crises that show you, you know, earthquake comes and you find out which buildings have been built to code and which haven't. And on some level, we're starting to realize like we have major aspects of our society. And, and I, I think, you know, on the left, I think we've recognized this, but I'm saying broader parts of the country realize that we have major aspects of the infrastructure, the social and physical infrastructure of our society that are um, woefully not up to code, essentially, <laughs> you know, and um, we need to enhance those. And if, and if he can make that argument, if he needs to do the, you know, this is a trust but verify type of situation. In fact, it's not even necessarily a full trust. The unity talk, if it is being deployed in the same way that uh, Waleed made the point that uh, Lincoln did, um, all well and good. But um, if it if it's something that 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 Joe Biden believes is attainable, I um, I despair a little bit. But I have a feeling at least the people around him realize that. So. All right, well, let's take a break. We're going to talk more about this in the, in, in the next, uh, in, in the fun half. Folks, just a reminder, it's your support that makes this show possible. You can become a member at jointhemajorityreport.com. Also, uh, check out our merch, shop.majorityreportradio.com. We got now uh, beanies. We got um, uh, long sleeve t-shirts. We got I wore all. that uh, left is best t-shirt to bed last night. Oh, you Very did? much enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of stole it, but I thought, I didn't mean to steal it. I really didn't. I just, uh, I brought it home and then I put it in the wash and I was like, I guess this is mine now. That sounds like you stole it. Commissary right, but... privileges review board coming. <laughs> it's, it's not stealing if you wash it first. That's right. Right, right. That's sort uh, of the classic like, oh, hey, uh, do you want this ice cream cone? Oh, I'm sorry. I licked it all. 
Well, you can if you have feel free. <laughs> okay. I thought it was other laundry. So I washed it and I was like, oh, geez, this was the shirt that Sam had me, you know, show off on the show. And what then is I- other laundry? <laughs> Like, like I put it with colors. Like it was in my bag. I just was like, I had a sweatshirt in there. I wasn't thinking, and uh, I feel this guilt like when I. A, I'm a, this feels like it's practiced. It's like, not. Did you stand in front of a mirror and practice this whole thing? Like, <laughs> I know I had it with the other laundry. Oh, whoops! <laughs> Oops! I'm just collecting <laughs> all of the laundry right now, including the merchandise. <laughs> I, I feel guilt when I wear it, and I just I needed to like. You also my- happened to wash the carpenter pencils too, didn't you? By yes, mistake. and now, all the beanies. Obviously yeah. We can't. Well, uh, <laughs> nevertheless, folks, uh, there you go. I mean, it. Um, you can purchase it, or if you can figure out a clever way, like Emma, you can this, steal. You it. can steal it. Yeah. You can steal the uh, merch over at shop.majorityreport.radio.com. Uh, also, uh, don't forget uh, Nomiki's show today. You can find it at YouTube.com/slash. Uh, the Nomiki show. And I don't know who's on today, but I imagine they're going to be talking about the inauguration and about the end of the Trump administration. Um, also, uh, check out the Antifada. They're doing Twitch streams like three nights a week now, twitch.tv slash the Antifada. Matt, what's uh, happening t- in the Matt Leck media universe? Uh, yeah, Thursday night at 8 Eastern, uh, Left Reckoning, we're going to have Milton Alamadi on to talk about Yowari Museveni in Uganda. He raided, basically he did what Trump tried to do. He did a, looks like a self-coup. Uh, there was a what appears to be another fraudulent election in Uganda. And then he uh, surrounded the election politicians uh, compound with the military. So we have Milton Alamadi to uh, inform us about that tomorrow night. Left Reckoning YouTube channel, uh, patreon.com slash Left Reckoning. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Head into the fun half, 646-257-3920. We're going to take your phone calls. Um, And uh, I I mean, as of yet, I have not heard any reports of any type of violence um, at state capitals around the country. That's great. Um, I, I I have to concede that I, I thought there was a decent chance that we would see something like that. Um, but uh, I mean, the aftershock of what happened could just be like, all right, everybody stand instead of, uh, you know, uprising, it's the stand back and stand by kind of deal. I don't know. It's possible. I mean, look, this stuff has never gone away. It's never going to go away. I mean, we had Timothy McVeigh. We had um, uh, the, the, um, Uh, those guys from Nevada who took over uh, in Oregon. I mean, this is uh, a feature of, of the United States. Uh, But um, as of today, so far, still a peaceful day. And I got to say Trump, just real quick, Trump not having his social media. I I wonder, it seems like it's taken a lot of the air out of the balloon. Interesting theory. Possible. 